I'm going to show you how to prepare a multiple choice question for people to choose one of the answers. You can use this as an interactive way between you and your students during teaching process. First, you need to open your browser. Then you can go to Google Forms. So this is the address www.google.com backslash forms backslash about backslash then you choose to go to the forms you need to get access with the, your gmail account the one you are using to get into your mail account so i'm logging into my account now Now forms are opened, choose blank. Now this is the form you are going to prepare. You can write here whatever heading you want. I'm going to write choose one of the following. Okay. Option one, I will call it number one. Then I want to add another option call it two, another option, call it three, another option, call it four, another option, call it five. It's a multiple choice question, and the audience should choose one of these five. Then we are ready. I'm going to call this whatever I want. It's something for me, say let's call it test one. Now it is saved. Then I want you to send. You can send to yourself. I'm going to send it to myself. This is my. And now it is sent to my email. Now I'm going to open my email. And here the message. And this is the link. If I press this, the questionnaire will open for me. So if I choose, this is what will appear to the students. Say I choose number one, I'm going to submit. Then I'm going to choose number five, I'm going to submit. Then I'm going to choose number five, I'm going to submit. Now, this is the original form. Here you can see this is the responses. We have three responses. Two times number five was chosen, and one type number one was chosen. Suppose again I go back to the forms and choose number two, and then another two. And then another two. Now let's see the responses. The responses now are six. And this is the number in each of the answers. Once I finish discussing with my audience these things, then I can simply go and delete all the responses. Now it is zero again. Then I can go with my next presentation or question then I ask, put my question and ask the audience to choose okay now let's see the responses I have two responses one for number one one for number two so all what you need now that you have here in your email this link if you right click then you can copy link location then this location whenever you put it in any browser you are going to open this form simply the link you are now have you can put it on whatsapp or on your site or anything and the audience can use it to answer your questions that you've prepared during your presentation okay 
hope you'll find this useful. All you are need that you have people with smartphones with internet access during your presentation. And at the presentation, you need to prepare your slides. And in between, you need to have slides with question with multiple choice. They can choose all the people in the room can choose. Then you can see the answers and then discuss with them what they are answering. Okay, thanks.